Boom! It's on. <laughs> Boom! What's that? <laughs> Boom! What's that? <laughs> Are you too cool? What's going on? Yeah. I'm, really too cool. I'm not gonna be like these heathens, <laughs> these peasants over here. Peasantry. What's going on, ladies That's and gentlemen? What's what popping, y'all, man? <laughs> Episode ninety-eight. Hey. Damn, of the RTC podcast, man. We back in this thing, man. Back in this thing from yes, uh, sir. from uh, Thanksgiving mm-hmm. uh, festivities. Couple pounds whatnot. heavier. Couple pounds heavier. Maybe just a couple. <laughs> Maybe just, just a couple. little bit. All of y'all tasters, you know, I had to be up cooking all, you know. All wow. Time. I was slaving behind the, the stove too. You know what I'm saying? On Your the double, double eggs. Were good. They were good. I made the double. I made breakfast that mom. morning for my family. So, oh, oh really? That was awesome. That was nice. Know. So, what time did y'all eat? Oh, my like parents side, they they said they would be ready by 12. When we got there, I think they were almost ready. So we got there like one. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I know my people. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'd be like, oh, okay, 12 sounds good. Or I think it was 12.30. We got there at one. And then we started eating probably like 20, 30 minutes after that. So about 1.30. Oh, okay. What time did we eat? Like four? <laughs> That's yeah. how we used to. That's yeah. about the time yeah. we used to four. eat. Four, yeah. Because I, I starved myself for that morning. Yeah, but I swear my my parents they they know we have to move around, so they were just like, all right, we're gonna eat early, and then it it, it be perfect because we can go there, and then we can go to her people right after. And mm-hmm. That makes sense. No, that's not fire. <laughs> we hosted it this year, so you know mm-hmm. we was at. The How was that? We have this drive. the first year. Nah. No. Okay, I remember you saying before. y'all y'all do we that. We seem now. to be yeah. the destination now. Oh, okay. <laughs> destination because y'all got got the space, man. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was cool. It was it was dope <laughs> seeing all the kids and cousins together. <clears throat> you know them playing and all that kind of remind you of what we did when we were back in the day. But only difference now they got all this technology. And, you know, and they're just low key hating being on tablets and stuff. <laughs> oh, just not the thoroughly agree. <laughs> I mean, we we had. I mean, I'm not gonna get it wrong. It's beautiful to have the family around. Yeah. Uh, we decided to keep all of the cousins. Yeah, after so we had eight kept. children. Jesus, up until Saturday. Right. Mind you, we had them from Wednesday Talking to Saturday. Me. Jeez, I'm very loud. Christ. I'm surprised y'all. But um, yeah. So Ooh. it was it was tough, you know. Yeah. But I love when they're all play together. It's like when it you watch fun. them, they have so much fun together. It'd be like, yeah. It'd be like it'd be like you'd be like, damn. But then you'd be like, you know what? Let them ball out. <clears> Let them have fun. Because we know those moments that me and him used to have, like we're hanging out with our cousins. Kids, yeah. You can't mm-hmm. just, it's it's like you don't want that to end. Remember. So that's why we both kind of understand. Mm-hmm. We're yeah. young parents, so we're not old parents. So we understand our children a lot mm-hmm. more. Than older mm-hmm. parents, you yeah, definitely relate to it. Then I had to go outside and uh, get Javon some routes. Oh yeah, ran some routes. Yeah, you better, let them you know. Be, still... We get a little older though. You better be looking. Ankles didn't crack on. Yeah, yeah no, I'm good. Oh, I'm active. My I definitely gonna... get out there with them. My ankles ain't gonna pop. I can good. still play corner <laughs> right now. Thanks. Yeah, but it was it was cool though. We all uh, I got out there too. Don't I get, you know me, me and Mariah Michigan. gave y'all good smacking. They did. So we oh played, damn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we was playing Boys two on girls. two. Uh, wow. <laughs> they was putting that hurt on y'all. Yeah. Yeah, they did. Our quarterback kind of sold a few times. <laughs> who, who was the QB? Javon. He sold oh, a couple Javon. times. Javon, come on, man. Yeah. He threw a, a horrible pick <laughs> when he <laughs> was giving it to Isaiah and Mariah. Mariah I was like, bro, Mariah was right there. <laughs> threw it straight to her. <laughs> Javon. And then, you know, some with Nisha, you know. Yeah. But I didn't want to do too hard on him. You know oh, what I'm that's so, what you're the story you're telling. Yeah. Oh, you know, damn. Kind of, you know, she said it went another way. Damn. Oh, we're gonna run it back. We can run it back. ACL tear. Damn. Damn. Oh. damn, she juked you, bro. Calm down. I, nah. I get you. She down was cheating, bro. Nah. She was cheating. Nisha was cheating, bro. She <laughs> was <laughs> cheating. She was tickling me. <laughs> She hey, was bro, me. that's a, that's that was a, flag. a There was a bunch of flags out there. <laughs> that's a flag. Sounds like a whole bunch of flags. We needed the uh, the refs for the Texans versus Jags game out there. <laughs> right. Damn. Uh, can we be tickling people. Just throwing DPIs. Hey, yeah, I thought it was just, you know, this affection. She told him, come know? here. Just nah. grab me. I'm like, bro, you can't do, do that. that. It's illegal. <laughs> He's so damn ticklish. Like, you can touch him right here. <laughs> I'm a thug. Yeah, that's a wrap for me. That's why it was so hard for me to go to a masseuse, man. First of all, I'm a thug. All right, don't be out here. Oh, don't call me ticklish. It's yeah. very, very easy for him to laugh when he's tickled. Damn, can thugs be ticklish? 
You yeah. Look, are you still a thug if you're ticklish? You ha- every man has an affectionate side <laughs> that their girl sees nah, bro. outside if you're ticklish, of them. I won't take you seriously. You might the most thuggish dudes you know might be the most sensitive. In the but bedroom. if you're ticklish, I won't take you serious. Because the most thuggish dudes ain't going to masseuses. They're not used to feeling that. Right. Yeah. Those are areas that you're hey, not hey, used hey, to. What's all hey, what's oh, <laughs> what you it's kind of funny. Are they though? <laughs> no, with happy endings and all nowadays. <clears throat> hey. Hey. Oh, that ain't nowadays. That's been going on. Oh, yeah, that's, that's been, been going, going on, on since yeah. the beginning well, of the time. Now, I mean, they, it's been talked about a lot more. Just because Deshaun been on it, don't mean. <laughs> yeah, not that. <laughs> nah, Chris, Tuck, Chris I mean, Tucker let us know about that a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Sure. <laughs> Had me watching that movie, like, man, I want to go to uh, mm-hmm. Japan, whatever they was. China, I think. Mm hmm. Well, so I get to pick them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was a funny scene. It, it, this is a question. Like, in those happy endings, what does that mean? Is that like a. Yeah. Are you doing it or are they like... No, you, just... you're being... Your tension is being released. Your ending is happening. You're being treated. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're so, being serviced. Wait a yeah. minute. Letting go of that extra amount of stress. Yes. The, uh, yeah. That's, that's the that. happy okay. ending. Because exactly. <laughs> the massage is like the... You already feel The good. massage is like the sex. And mm-hmm. then the, the... The release. The release is the happy ending. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, wait a the minute. exhale. The, your body is... <sighs> Tender no now, you all tenderized, and you just need that extra <laughs> just tenderized. That's what floats your boat? Nah, don't say that. It yeah. Don't float my boat. <laughs> yeah, the happy ending, man. That's that's that's. It's always been like that. Would you all uh, get yeah. one? A happy ending? This when a nigga asks the question <laughs> like, back. It's a yes. It's a yes for him. Happy ending. Depending on how she looks, huh? It uh, man, we gotta we gotta sign some forms and paperwork, oh, yeah. bro. No, nah, you don't, because then they, they have, got you. Oh, people like y'all no that's in the YouTube, they're gonna have a video <clears throat> camera on y'all. <laughs> that's yeah, not absolutely. an NDA. Well, if you want to give me, a, I need you to. But it's illegal. If, if that's the case, then might as well just be talking to somebody else to give you a happy ending, like yep. a relationship not, at that point to yeah. keep it keep it's it. Safe. Not the same, just start but it's not the mobile, same. It's not the same. Stranger masseuse. danger. Shit, nowadays you need NDAs for relationships. At that point, you would just have to date a mobile masseuse, man. A mobile masseuse, yeah. Do they have the women version? Of them, them dudes. Oh, be, you! Do, I know what you're talking about. Do they have they the women version. I think I wouldn't be surprised if they I'm did. I'm sure. I haven't. The crazy thing, I haven't seen videos of it, but I'm sure they Surprising. probably do. Where they have, you know, the guys. Seen them I seen one clip be, where they was putting bananas in this girl mouth and, <laughs> bro, and that great. stuff. You, I seen it on your page. I was like, what the hell is going See, on? Y'all right didn't now? catch my transition. I said nowadays in relationships. You need NDAs as well, obviously, bringing up the P. Diddy situation. Oh, you know I see what, what you saying? did there. Segway University. It, you know. That was but, low key. That was a low key know, one. Yeah, so. Well, we're going to baby step it. <laughs> you just threw us kind of in there. He's, he's, you should have you should have brought it back around. <laughs> but before we get there, before we do get on that, that's wild. Like, Yeah. And that's the type of stuff that I think your homegirls be like, oh, come on, let's. Yeah, it's one of those type of maybe machines. trying to live through your events to do shit like that. And then it's more than just baby orders being, being divorced. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like I don't know what's up with this new like the the men masseuses putting strawberries in your mouth and yeah. all that yeah. stuff they're doing. <laughs> I think that's like, so what crazy. Is you got, but you have the friend group that want to do that. Yeah. It's definitely some that I have like quite that quite a few stuff. That, that actually were like, ooh, you know. But yeah. that's not my thing. They know I'm not. Don't go get single. <laughs> Absolutely not. That's all, that's all I got to say. Don't do that to yourself. <laughs> don't I mean, be like them over there. Honestly, that shadowy place. Would, but I think even if I wasn't married, I don't think that would be my thing. Like if I if I knew you did it to too many women, I don't even like to talk to dudes like that. And then the thing that's with the I multiple am. dudes on yeah, one girl like gripping it, and then the girls yeah. at the table watching. Like, They're like, yeah. Bro, this shit, is, like, this shit is weird. Did y'all this see the one with wild. the heavyset woman? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Why you shake like that? Wow! It was just so you're not on camera, so Damn. we're the one who get the face in there. Yeah, wow. Well, no, it was just it looked it very crazy. Wow. Because she had like three guys, and they were like, "There's a lot of real body. estate." It. Nah, you're toxic. What? Like that's, that's, going on. You already got the Earth girl. A lot of motion. Shout out to her, bro. She got a following. <laughs> like people showing love to her, but she, then there's you know she do got a to who. The, the girl that he said looked like the earth on our oh. little video. Come on. It was the, the fact that y'all said she got a following. She does. She no, said, she does have this a following. All Ross. Like, because she commented the on earth. the video. Oh, yes, y'all? Yeah, she was just she laughing. Said, hey, like, that's me. Yeah, like, it wasn't no, like, oh. she felt some type of way. It wasn't way. no hostility. Yeah, she I, has I a following. I love people that can take a joke. Me too. I love that. Yeah, but 
Because it'd be like, bro. people don't mean no harm. Like, we're just yeah, all It jokes. was all jokes. Like, it's no... She got over, like, damn near, she probably got more than, like, 20K followers now. At the time, she had 18K. And that's all she does. She dance on oh, TikTok. That's lit. And she has a follow. Bro, there was people in the comments talking about, damn, girl, I'm trying to get at you. Like, bro. People I'm, like what they oh, like. Yeah, people. They, there's, there's skinny dudes that love bro, big women. Bro, I see it. Bro, they have the that time. on my 600 pound, whatever. Mm-hmm. They be like, I, I feed her because I like her big. Yeah. Like, oh, God, we talk. This nigga, he, bro, he had a problem. He was enabling oh, yeah. it. So he would, he wanted her to be as big as possible. So Definitely seen kept, a few of those stories. He just kept. It was on Dr. Phil. Mm, Dr. Phil. And he just kept overfeeding her because he's like, uh huh. He he likes her that way, and if she ever lost too much weight, he wouldn't, he, he wouldn't be, be attracted to her. Anymore. I was like, "That's sick." Yeah, yes. so that's she was terrible. killing herself to she be with him. She was killing herself to be with him, bro. That's oh, that is terrible. So at the end of the day, some she, different type of mind control. Those people you gotta watch. He probably got a, th- a life insurance. On I her got mind control over Debo. Yeah, that's exactly what that was. Mm-hmm. For real. That shit was yeah, wild. Go ahead, keep eating them cheeseburgers, them triple uh, mm-hmm. ultimate cheeseburgers mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. with the bacon. I love when the bacon be sliding. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 I just want to. Oh, no. God, bring- no, she's gone. Sign here. <laughs> Sign here. <laughs> that's just, that's sick. Definitely. You got to be, you know, in tune with yourself and just know when, you know, is. And she was trying to get help too. She was trying to get help. She was at the little ceiling. Oh yeah, trying to eat the food, and he mm. was going sneaking and buying mm. her, still yeah. getting us some food. <clears throat> yeah, that's wow. wild. Yeah, but speaking of food, how long do y'all think you should be eating the Thanksgiving leftovers? What's the maximum days? It's, three days. Uh, three, two, three days two, max three days. for me. Yep. Three, three days. days. Okay. For sure. After that, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, okay. It's okay. time to put that shit up. Like okay. what was that yesterday morning? Warren came downstairs because we hit the third day, and I yep. threw everything away. Bro, I opened the refrigerator, mm-hmm. and it was just nothing. I but threw the old everything stuff, away. I washed out all the bowls and pots. I said, "This needs to go." And I'm like, "This is." He see look. It's all gone. I say, yep. It's all gone. <laughs> but that jersey was smacking the mac and cheese, the you know, dirty rice. You know, I know. The turkey was fire, falling off the bone. Turkey leg was wide open, too, like a Friday night. Yeah, I see that it. you took the, the leg part, <laughs> your annual thing you yeah, do every year. I took the, uh, the leg, the drumstick. You know, I did. Ham was fire. The turkey was so fire, you know. Her mom the did uh, ribs that was falling off. So my mom made the ribs. Okay. I made the ham and the turkey. Um, I made the mac and cheese. I made the green beans. I made the. So she just made Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what I'm hearing. She That's, did. She did. Yeah, yeah. She made Pretty it much. Yeah. And it was fire. It was like. And really you made really- eggs. The devil eggs, actually. Yes, yes. Devil eggs. Hey, Very give important. him his credit. Yeah. Absolutely. Devil, devil, devil eggs are delicious. Lie, his yeah. devil eggs were fly. They and were and I helped make Have, the sauce. Haven't you made them before? Uh, at an event? No, it's his you first time making it. Okay, okay. His mom was standing there. So your mom made them last it? time? Yeah. Because it was an event, I ate some devil eggs. She yeah. usually make them. And she they were they reminded me of my aunts, and I was like... Yeah, she, she usually didn't want to make them. My man. But I told her this year I wanted <laughs> to learn how she do it. Mm-hmm. Ah, so okay. So she was kind of guiding me, and then um, me and my sister came up with a, a sauce. Oh, um, my God, a, yes. A rub like to put a, on top of the biscuit. It's like a mock of the Texas Roadhouse butter. Like they uh, were having like this sweet But it butter. was it was different, different but and, it was an oily one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So and they made it with, yeah, it was nice. I'm going to go tell you the recipe. Yeah, yeah. No, we can't be getting out the Yeah, we can't be getting out the recipe, I tell you, they, they, we put it on top of the rolls. We baked the rolls and then put it on top. We're not making it any better for Everybody tore it up. Yeah, somebody 599 pounds right now. Oh. <laughs> The rolls. I can taste it. Ooh, the butter. Can you add some butter on the butter? <laughs> I just want to chew it and spit it out. I'm not even going to swallow it. <laughs> We're not funny. making it any better, man. But no, nah, it, was, it was a good one. How about y'all? <laughs> uh, mine was pretty chill. We get, got it catered by uh, Mickey's or whatnot this year. Ooh. So, no, nah, it was it was only about catered. six of us. My go-to. Um, but we had enough for leftovers. Uh Grandma was having a good time. She over there dancing and stuff. So, that's awesome. Uh, so, nice. you know, uh, awesome. it was it was it was a cool little vibe. Blondie oh. just begging. Every oh, point yeah, going right, back. Man. Just, on, man. just waiting, waiting for, for you to drop, just something. drop to something, drop something off the table. Something. Please, that's yeah. domino. That's domino. Bro, Blondie, she didn't stop moving the entire time. Like, oh, you got some? Oh, Watch I, more over there. No, that's not the table. Wait, wait. I'm on the way. <laughs> So, but ultimately, it was a I'm good time. I'm surprised your mom to make her a gourmet plate. Youth. Right. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Order her doggy Mickey's right. uh, bowl. Nah, my <laughs> uncle had uh, had some treats for her, so she was good off that. But she she wanted the human human. Yeah, food. she was smelling that man. Yeah. She, how was it? How was the 
I think we catered. We catered them last year for Christmas. For Christmas? Mm-hmm. No, oh, their food it? was good. Yeah, Fire. everything was on point, bro. They gave us the right amount or, you know, even more than we expected. So, no, nah, everything was uh, good. And they yeah, didn't I really might charge do, I too, might too much. I the catering option for Christmas this year because I don't feel like cooking. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's because you just finished cooking. Yeah. 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 And Christmas it's, is right around like the corner. Right yeah. Around the corner. Yeah. yeah, I'm doing catering. I'm yeah, so. Everybody got time for that. Nah, yeah. Yeah, we probably going to do catering this time. Not through them, but probably a barbecue company. Oh, that sounds so, good. What's the company? Oh, I'm, I'm not sure yet. Oh. I'm trying to figure it out. So Because hey, uh, it's best mm-hmm. Yeah. What the heck is the name of that place? Hey, if you got some good suggestions, on oh, it. I definitely do. You know what? Okay. Uh, uh, Isaiah's coach, the barbecue place that he oh, is it Sweet Rays? The fire. We have it for the homecoming. Sweet Rays, like Sweet Baby Rays. <laughs> I think so. it isn't. It's it's, I know it's Rays. Sweet. Something. Well, give me the info. Oh, I'll definitely yeah. if they cater. I might actually if they cater do a lot for of Christmas them. just to like yeah. support. Like I think I might. All right. Well, yeah. Give me give me his info. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you know. Okay. Bit, I'll bit, confirm bit. the name just so that way we'll have the right name. Bit, gotcha. bit, bit. But yeah, nah, that's that's probably what we're gonna do. But overall, it was a good Thanksgiving. Got to see people, you know, family that I wanted to see. So that's that's all that mattered for me, honestly. So. That's what's saying. Hey, I um, went to my people's, me and my wife, mm-hmm. kids, went to my side of the family, and uh, I got my broccoli, cheese, and rice castle. Hey. <laughs> oh, yeah, that castle nice. you was talking about. And my dad made turkey. He like made turkey legs instead of like the turkey. Mm-hmm. The whole turkey he made like oh, that's a bunch fire. of turkey legs, and we had like a, a pan full of turkey. Oh, my. I God. thought about doing that. He killed that shit. I thought about it. It was great. Oh. Um, that is a great idea, trust me. Like after that, I was like, "This is what we should always do." <laughs> and on top of that, too, fried turkey. Oh, absolutely, delicious. My uncle does it almost every year. Um, I need to see how somebody does it because he's it like he's one of them turkey beasts. Though he make like turkey legs every year for all kinds of events. Mm. He like one of them comp- competition type turkey legs. Oh, so oh. He, know he good. Like, he, People be burning. I literally down. drive to the north side <laughs> to go get a turkey leg sometimes from him, but <laughs> no lie, that serious sometimes. But man. um. I just said- I just said that next year I want to do fried turkey. Like okay. the big turkey all overnight, the whole eight to nine hours that it takes. It's I th- intense. I hear everybody say when they do fried turkey, it's only like an hour and a half, two hours max. Yeah. I just want to try it because I, I don't yeah, recall I'll try it. trying it. So it'll be something new Some and different. good stuff. Yeah. No, no, for sure, for sure. But yeah, um, before we get into that deep conversation you had, mm-hmm. I noticed who'd you get an autograph of on your hat? I know. I so see I have that. Case Keenum and I have Kaimi Fairbairn, the one we were hey. missing yesterday. The oh, kicker, kicker we were yeah. missing, who also, uh, you know, his longest field goal kick is 61 yards. He could have hit that 58 yard. Mm. He's only missed probably like, what is it? Two 15 <laughs> kicks in like eight years. Oh, Damn. wow. That's good. Out of like 200. I guess I've seen all 15 at once because at one point I did not. Yeah, I didn't. Was not a fair band. I was definitely saying trade him. But I missed him. People were saying that, but they didn't know he was breaking a lot of our kicker records. Right. While people were saying that, I was like, I'm not sure what the people are paying. Like, they're only noticing the negative about him, but he's literally hitting shit that nobody is paying attention to right yeah, now. I was like, he had a 56 yarder, 56 yarder, 55 yarder, 54 yarder, all in the same year, and then hit a 61 yarder. Well, you know what? Like, that we, was not normal. We miss him now because Amendola. <laughs> yeah, just... people notice it now. <laughs> Amendola's never even made a 50 yard kick. <laughs> I would not have. I would not have trusted. We were saying it on live. I was like, bro, I no. would trust trusted CJ Stroud. Fourth and twelve over Edmund. Everybody yeah. in the section while we was in the at the game, everybody in the section was like, CJ, CJ, yeah, CJ. For sure. Cause the dude, first off, it should have been a penalty before that play anyway. Cause oh, dude yeah, land on CJ ankle. Yeah. That's a so cool another story. Where's the flag then? Running into him. Um the rest were cheating for sure. The talking. rest, the rest was dirty. I don't wanna I don't wanna be one of those people that just blame all everything on the rest because they definitely impacted the game on both sides. Mm-hmm. Cause there was a the our interception only happened because Petrie was holding uh Evan Ingram mm-hmm. on that slant. But it seemed like so, after that they was like, We're gonna make up for it. They, they went just crazy. Throwing, they went crazy. Fin- fin- I'm talking about a pass interference dude's run. Tyvier Thomas is running next. To- I mean, I know he's been getting burned all game, but right now he is covering this man. Yeah. And there's no no touching, no grabbing, and you calling a pass interference. Then he does it again, call another pass interference. I said, what the hell is it going on? It was really on? to me the momentum of shift when they did that illegal shift. Oh, that illegal mm-hmm. shift was bullshit. That mm-hmm. I have never I'm like, it bro, was a ticky it was tack call. Two yeah, people. Yeah. You talking about somebody that probably jumped. I didn't even see anybody move, to be honest. I rewatched it today. Um, it's Robert Woods. Only person that motions is Tank. It's I think. Tank, yeah. And then mm-hmm. Robert Woods does like a slight movement, which is the Chiefs, the Dolphins, everybody the, do that. The Jags, all kinds of teams do it all the time. Mm-hmm. So I was like, that call was real petty, and like, it was late. 
It, it was hella late. late. And super it was late. Hella late. late. I was right. like, that was a petty ass call. So everybody was pissed already right then. Mm -hmm. Then you call them th two, three D DPIs. Then you got the hold on Steven Nelson. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, bro. Then you start trying to call stuff later on when we we're trying to catch up down by 10. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Right, that's it, that was dirty. But don't get me wrong. Our defensive line wasn't giving no pressure. Our secondary was getting ate up by Kevin Ridley because yeah, mm -hmm. Nelson really was getting smoked. He really almost gave up another touchdown. Dude yeah, just yeah, dropped yeah. it, to be real. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, we yeah, played yeah. one of our worst games. And he had an overthrown one. <clears throat> did not having Jimmy Ward back there did not help at all. Like 30, he, he did his thing. Steven Carson, he, he did what he could, but Sting, Jimmy Ward Stingley, is a different different Stingley beast. Stingley be, be holding it down for the most part. Yeah, he was doing solid yesterday. He was, mm -hmm. he was pretty solid, but I mean, the O-line really was a little shakier to me. That game, they really wasn't giving him as much time as we seen them do for in sure. the previous games, which mm -hmm. kind of, you know, and I just seen the momentum, the, the vibe. Like, they already seeing that stuff ain't working in their favor, and they not playing their best game. Yeah. I just think they... It was like a more of an emotional game. And I saw I saw some rookie mistakes yesterday out of CJ too, with mm -hmm. like the third and one, that mm -hmm. fourth and one, trying Holding to go it. long instead of just getting that first. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I understood what he wanted because like he wants that long play, get the crowd back in it. I yeah, understood sure. that. But hey, just getting that first would have got us in it, honestly. Yeah. Just, it was loud in there yesterday, bro. Mm -hmm. I it, felt it through the camera. Just mm -hmm. watching it. It was loud. Mm -hmm. I, the ref you suck part, it felt like it started in our section because the dude behind he goes, Ref, you suck. Ref <laughs> by himself. And then people start saying in our section, yeah. then you start hearing it everywhere. Yeah. I was like, that was creepy. Because yeah. <laughs> it started going all the way around. I want to go so. to a game this year. It was so I loud in there. I want to go to a game so bad. This is this will be the year. 2018 was one of the funnest years to be at a game because mm -hmm. it was loud in there then when mm -hmm. Deshaun was going crazy. Mm -hmm. And then this year has been just... We play, uh, it's been the loudest I've ever been in an arena this year. We play this Denver uh, this week at home, right? <laughs> Or do they go to Denver? I think we played them at home. I don't know. I, I, can, check. Look. I can check. I feel like they're at home. Yeah, I believe they're at home. Yeah, I feel like they're at home. Because I know they'll be back for Christmas Eve. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Against the Browns. Let me see. But yeah, no, nah, the Jags got the dub. It's cool. Uh, a couple yeah. Jags fans tagged me. Tagged oh, yeah, no, nah, we played them at home. They're yeah. coming down here. Uh, that's going to be a tough match. Yeah. Gotta, yeah. They're on a win streak out, right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's going to be a tough one. We got to win out game. in order to make it the playoffs. We have to win out and people or- People have to lose. We, just, we really just need people to lose, mm -hmm. and we could lose one. Yeah. And then we could win the rest, and then uh -huh. we could possibly see the Jags in the playoffs. Ooh. But you're right. We need to just win out. To put us in the best situation, because yeah. I'd happily see them in the playoffs. Oh, for sure, I would love to run that back. It was too close to the game. I know that we gonna we gonna get our get back. For them to be oh, cheating man. like that, oh. <laughs> and it only was a three point three score game. But then, mind you, had we gotten two field goals, we could have won. We also yeah. didn't have Noah Brown or Jimmy Ward, who True. were huge mm -hmm. <laughs> for us. That's two pieces that were, were causing problems. Schultz yeah. was barely in the game yesterday. Mm -hmm. So he barely oh, tell barely me, got any tell Schultz me about yesterday. It. Tell me <laughs> hurt you fantasy wise too? Help me, hurt me, man. Yeah, me too. I could have had Kyle Pitts in. He just wasn't getting any involved, really. It was a lot mm -hmm. of times he was open. He just wasn't getting involved. And then the, the one pass, that fourth and one, they threw. That, that was the show. Yeah, yeah. It was just an overthrow. Throw, yeah. But I mean, my boy, uh, you could tell CJ was hurt. Like he was like, yeah, he was mm -hmm. hurt. He was limping and still trying to thug it out. Mm -hmm. I was like, hey. But that's why you notice he started like not running. Like, any, any, like he was right there by the first. He don't. He and typically he don't, don't run. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this game, he probably ran is the most I've mm -hmm. seen him run this year. Yeah, he, he didn't get run. that running touchdown uh, though. It's weird though, because like he'll, <laughs> he like he has the ability. He just chooses not to most of the time. If he can pass it, he's gonna pass, pass it. Yeah, he's not gonna take. Even if it's right there, he won't do it. Which he has to learn. Like I think he has to learn that. You might as well get win let me go two. get this first down. Win, win yeah. I don't need to get this first down. I can get it through pads. I like, think that's a rookie thing, though. Exactly. Because I feel like coming into year two, I think he's going to get more comfortable. And then that's when they gonna, That's when he's going to get even more dangerous. That's when our offense is going to be way more dangerous. Because His year three. You it, don't know if we're going to hit Stingley. I mean, you don't know if we're going to hit um, uh, Singletary. You don't know if we're going to hit the tight end real quick or if he's just going to take uh, five yards, ten yards. We gotta extend them first because it's gonna be. <laughs> yeah, Shit, shows on a one year. I think Singletary is too. Oh yeah, yeah. We gotta, yeah. We gotta yeah. extend both of them. We gotta extend Cashman. Oh, Cashman they're gonna, they're gonna extend Singletary. Ca Cashman is important to extend. Mm -hmm. Um, we also need to draft. I think we defensive need, line they need, help. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was a, they need linemen. Defensive yeah. line. We need pressure because the corners can't guard all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's, uh, it don't matter what kind of cornerback you are, you can't guard all day. If it ain't no pressure getting to uh, Sunshine, then 
that boy gonna have a field day. <laughs> mm-hmm. Facts. Like, and he's one of the most overrated quarterbacks to me. Like, and if we year did, three, and they're out here trying to compare him to CJ. Like, that's cute. You're comparing him to a rookie who's dogging him statistically. When, his, when he, what are we talking? Had about? a super losing <laughs> season his first year. When they just <laughs> thought he was going to come in. Oh, he's never lost a game before, yeah. and he's. Whole career in the end of in playing football and da, 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 got a whole Calvin Ridley and Christian Kirk who both were becoming number ones on both their teams. Mm-hmm. Like, Plus. what are we talking about? Evan Ingram, another uh, solid uh, Ingram, receiving uh, tight end. Mm-hmm. Then you have Etn coming out, coming in from college that was a hot hot mm-hmm. running back coming in. Like, let's stop it. And he's physical, stop man. He's, oh, he yeah. got the size and everything. And he's like he can go. For you not to be producing better is on year three. Come on, man. We got to stop that. And barely what are you talking one. About? Talking about some of the players. In the Trevor team. Lawrence. Like, Trevor Lawrence, yeah. But, I mean, like, for him to be compared, like, people today, like, the past couple of days since the loss or whatever, like, since, well, the past day, basically, since the loss, the first, one of the first things they were doing was like, well, he's better than CJ. I'm like, CJ's a rookie. How are you even, first off, statistically, he's not even better right now. Right. Yeah. Like, what are we talking about? <laughs> and that's the part that people were trying to make. Because it's like, we know he's not doing better than him on the on the stat sheet. So them winning the game, I'm like, bro, y'all forgot he just beat him at home yeah, at we, y'all home field yeah, like, we like a few weeks earlier ago. this season. So it's yeah. like we blew him out. Yeah, and it didn't have no refs people involved quick to, in that. They quickly yeah. forget though. Yeah, you people know what forgot. Saying? Like we blew them out. And then still with the refs on your side, you only won by three points. When but, did our first but, win? But too? my thing is my when, thing. The, when the kicker could have actually tied the game. Oh, mm-hmm. pass tied, pass tied. Like I yeah, told pass, him earlier, pass tied. Our kicker missed a field goal earlier in the game that Fairbairn's kicking on accident. That's yeah. a little 50 yards. My boy almost missed the, the extra point. Yeah, exactly. That's what I knew it was. Fair, Fairbairn's kicking a regular 50 yarder. Like, that's nothing. That's yeah. <laughs> Why did we let go of that kicker? No, he, he hurt. hurt. No, he hurt. We didn't oh, let him go. Okay. He got hurt. Um, and Mandola, we had to sign him off his couch. Doing something in the middle of the play. I don't <laughs> know what happened. But, but, yeah. but my thing is, <laughs> this is the only reason I, I'm not really, like, getting on the Jags fans that much. Because I, like... I'm glad y'all are getting your moment, you know. Oh, for sure. Because yeah. like we're 29 and 15 against y'all. Like, <laughs> facts. Yeah. This is your 15th win against us. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for them, ladies and gentlemen. I'm proud of you. They got, you got one. Like, what are we talking about, bro? Enjoy. Y'all now. are our kids. Mm-hmm. Stop playing with me. Y'all not going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, we y'all. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> but yeah, no. Nah, um, it's weird. <laughs> but yeah, it was it was an interesting uh, day in sports and and stuff yeah. like that. Um, seeing the Eagles. Um, yeah. take that, bro. The bills. That <laughs> officiating yesterday was ridiculously yeah, bad. Yeah. It was just, yeah. I don't scratch our game, like, even if, like, because our game was terribly officiated, mm-hmm. but even the that game, I think the Ravens game, like, mm-hmm. it was just a lot of bad officiating yesterday. It's just that weird. Eagles game, it was one play. And I was going for the Eagles, but one moment this dude was literally hugging Stefan Diggs, bro. Mm-hmm. Hugging him. Yeah, and the ref was just standing there. They didn't call it. Like I had that flag tucked. <laughs> just sitting like, what right the hell? Here. I think some Eagles fan know where he lives. And yeah. I'm coming in there unbiased as hell watching this game. Like, what? How did you All right, bro? Okay. All um, right. it was ridiculous. But they let they let Jalen Hurt just do his thing at the end. And yeah. um I will say uh, quarterback, yeah, we was talking about top fives and all that, and yeah, top, top tens right and, and and whatnot, and fifteen. Jalen, I, I, it's like an ugly good season for the Eagles. See, the it's, thing it's, about Jalen is Jalen just knows how to win. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> that's what makes Jalen Davis. People want to talk about his passing and this and that. Jalen is gonna pass when he needs to, and he gonna run mm-hmm. when he needs to. Yeah, I was say Hutton tuck the ball and just go. He just right. went and scored <laughs> like, and won and won and the game. And won the game. And when he did need to catch up, threw a dime into the end zone to Devonte Smith. Take... Like, come on, bro, that was yeah. he was balling. And yeah. then they play uh, San Fran this Sunday. The That's one, be a good mind game. you, the one mm-hmm. interception they got, it was a deflection. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't even just. <laughs> it wasn't him. even no straight up interception. It just it just ha- so happened to get slapped. And I think we should start taking that off the quarterback's record. It needs to have an asterisk by it. Yeah. Or something. yeah, like you need to put that in another another space, like mm-hmm. they do with tied, like win, loss, tied. Yeah, in a, in completion. Interceptions and deflections. 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 Yeah. Because that ain't even necessarily on you. It touched the receiver hand. His ass got sticky fingers or butter fingers. Yeah. And then boom. Yeah. Somebody else is right there waiting for mm-hmm. it to come. Bread. 
bread basket. I'm mm-hmm. gone. They need to do something about that. But, but all in all, though, I'm I'm pretty happy with my Texans season so yeah, far. Oh, yeah, they are already just, surpassing. They've already met my win, my my minimum win rate mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. this year. So I'm I'm pretty happy for a year one to rebuild. So like I ain't really tripping on much of that. You exceeded my expectations, to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm good. Mine was six wins and Same. six to ten. So mm-hmm. six to ten was where I had it because I seen them at training camp and I was like, they can beat some teams. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, they Not can first. do some damage. But but our injury, I mean our injury, our issue this year was injuries. It's it's been injuries. Like crazy, and then being young, of course, like yeah, having yeah. rookie, rookie and, and staff. Keep, keep them, keep them trick plays going, man. Like keep them, you know what I'm saying? Them, them, <coughs> yeah, them fakes, them, mm, the reversals, them reverses, yeah. The, oh yeah, them screens. Yeah, keep, man, switch it up, bro. I, I like what I was seeing yesterday for the most no, it was, part. It was fun. Don't be, don't was, be. That so was a great game. It was that a fun was, game to watch. It was, it was, the officiating was, was definitely trying to pull us out of the game, but we were yep. still in that thing. Yep, nah, bro. I definitely want to go back to another Texans game, bro. Because oh, no, it's definitely worth it. The energy's. Energy this year has been crazy. We will for sure, but it's been a lot going on for the past couple of days. Mm-hmm. This weekend, outside in of general. football, yep. in general, man, inside and, uh, of football, inside of football, on the skirts of football. And, yep, in the sky boxes of in football. The sky boxes yep, of man. football. Yep. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, I even seen the situation where the alarm was going off at one of the games really? when they was uh commentating, broadcasting. And they was like, um, you might hear the alarm. They're saying that we need to evacuate. Whoa. And you hear the alarm going off right now. So uh, we might have to be back with you guys. Whoa. And I'm just like, damn. Was good. Where? I, I, I never went back to hear what was happening. One of the games that they was broadcasting. Um, what the hell? One of their alarms going on. I don't know if it was a fire <laughs> or what, but they was being told to evacuate. That is random and so as hell. You, you hear the beeping <laughs> as they're broadcasting every wow. time the mic but it's on them, and I'm just like, well, damn, bro. Like, is this a college game? No, nah, this is an uh, NFL game. No, nah, I think it was uh, it was during the uh, NFL red zone broadcast. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It so was the people the, in the red zone. Yeah, the, the, yeah. he was getting <laughs> evacuated. Niggas like, all right, well, uh, somebody. Um, but, I think I found the clip. Somebody caught something yep. on fire. Yeah, this is the NFL red zone. You hear it? Yeah. Had been outgained in every game this season until today. And uh, the Raiders, you may be hearing an alarm going off in the NFL Red Zone studio. Don't worry, we will attend to that and get you back to live football here in Vegas. Have to go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a first in my 20 something wow. year broadcasting <laughs> career. All right, my boy. We have an alarm going off. In the studios of NFL Red Zone right now, in our <laughs> studios here in Inglewood, California, we are being Inglewood. told we need to evacuate the building. We do not know the nature of the emergency. Wow. You can probably hear the alarm going right over the top of my right shoulder here. <laughs> uh, as it is something absolutely unprecedented for us, we have this game on the closest game, the Philadelphia and Buffalo game. Our control room needs to evacuate at this time. The studio in which I'm standing wow. needs to evacuate. This nigga got flames all around him <laughs> telling right us this story. He's calm, commenting while everything's on fire. Right. I'm sure you all would <laughs> at your places <laughs> at work. Uh, so to be continued, hopefully, although this game is in the fourth quarter, I will come back and give you a live update. You pissed off right now. Yeah. I am He's... able to. Thank you for your understanding and your patience. And here is third and 13. <laughs> yes, I, I love him. I, I, I love him. And here's third and 13. And 13. I can't believe this. He walking off like, I can't believe we got to evacuate. In our facility in England. <laughs> no, but, but, but yeah, no. Like, right that's, that's one of the things where you just like, you just like, man, hey, I'm going to keep going. I want y'all to, like, I care about my job. I care about getting y'all this, this news. <laughs> Give him a raise. Hell no. Yeah, I would have been like, uh, all right, y'all. Bye-bye. Bro, niggas in the comments, Scott risking it all for red zone. Yeah, he was, bro. Hey, hey, he's dedicated. He was committed. Right. Someone said Scott doesn't even sound bothered. Football first. Fire safety lane there, bro. He was, dog. <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> the fact that said, you still commentate. Well, it is 30. 30 13. <laughs> uh, we're going to get right back. <laughs> oh, huh? All right. It's <laughs> coming to the fourth down. <laughs> Ah! Bro, this nigga was bro, bro, get your he ass didn't out of there. care, bro. He said, yeah, they're evacuating the control room team. But, uh, yeah, we're going to keep you updated with this build. Oh, he my God, Fourth bro. quarter. It's a real good. If you didn't know his race. I'm dead. He would take the 
Oh, figured out. Shout out yeah. to my man holding it down. Because had that been one of us, he dedicated. He need a raise. Hey, 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 all right, y'all. Uh, I'm going to be back. Fire alarms on. We'll, we'll, we'll be back. Hey, man, fuck this fantasy yeah, shit. Yeah, bro. You was just hearing a bunch of... Out of here. Get the body. Get out of here. <laughs> all you would heard was start Marcus. moving everything. Yeah. Oh, all they, they, they would have seen is just the screen, just yeah, the football that's game. That's it. No commentary. No third and thirteen. Mm-hmm. No none of that, nigga. I'm I'm home. I'm getting the fuck out of here, or, man. Or, or please stand by. Oh my god. Yeah, bro. Please, please that was by. funny, bro. Yeah, nah. It's third and thirteen. <laughs> as he telling people, hey, man, so I'm still trying to do my job. Him. Don't fire me. <laughs> get that nigga you know, no raised, pun intended. <laughs> oh my god bro that was but funny yeah, dog. Nah, it, it, I was seeing a lot of little clips bro like just looking at my phone and um, <laughs> even with the um, T.I. son oh yeah cause they were at a football game the Atlanta uh, Atlanta he, Falcons game nah he was actually in the trenches during that time <laughs> yeah. yeah oh yeah. my god bro what's his son name Bando. Is it? I thought I was tripping when I seen that but of course I Twitter. thought they were, it was a parody or a joke. Or yeah, something. I, didn't, I didn't know that was because I wasn't really looking at. it. I just scrolled and I was like, "Wait, this is for real?" Yeah. So apparently, Ti son was uh, <laughs> getting into it with um, his parents. From what I can, uh, what I gathered from the clip, I want to say he was on Instagram Live, and uh, they were in the skybox <clears throat> of a football game. From what it looks like, and um, he was arguing. I guess he was offended by them saying that he grew up with a silver spoon in his mouth. Mm-hmm. And for those who don't know what a silver spoon in their mouth meaning uh means it's pretty much that you grew up pampered, yeah. um privileged. Privileged, uh never having to worry about a thing, not growing up in a struggle or anything of sort. And um he got offended by that. Mm-hmm. And got to a point to where it seemed like they was joking at mm-hmm. first and he couldn't handle the jokes coming from he stand on business. T.I. and Tiny and yeah, he was <laughs> He was saying he stood and stands on business. Y'all know me. Y'all know what's up. To me, I thought the conversation went kind of far for the the district, the nigga, you know, like. Yeah, yeah he was talking kind of crazy. Yeah, like from that, even though it came off like they was playing in the beginning, I felt like it was wild that he mm-hmm. was saying kind of certain things. Yeah, um, to your dad. Even jokingly to your mom and dad. and Whether they give you the attention or not. Yeah, like, and he was, I stand on business. Y'all know me. And it went from joking to. It seemed like it got real serious because it was like his mom had to get in his face and tell him to chill mm. and stop. And he was like, why are you letting him play me like that? And yeah. Then it seemed like... Uh, Dad started saying you're embarrassing yourself. Yeah. He yeah. said you're embarrassing yourself and he was still talking and it just seemed like it got a little physical. And I, all I can hear was... <laughs> get off me. <laughs> you, can't, you can't handle... You can't do yeah. nothing with me. That's T.I. Yeah. You are embarrassing yourself. Get off me. You can't do nothing with me. Yeah. That made me think of the baby boy scene. Every time I hear it, I think of the baby oh boy scene. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Call for your mama. Yeah, yeah. Call for your mama. Lick his head. Yeah. <laughs> can't do nothing uh, with me. Yeah. Jody. <laughs> 22 years, Jody. Oh. You can't do nothing with me. Oh, <laughs> my God. Mama, get off me. Get off me. As, as a dad. Um, oh. As a dad myself. Oh, King, not the veneers. And I have two two children. Yeah, he was mad because he was sucking on his pacifier since he was 12, mm-hmm. which he gave, you know, vibes of that. But, um, mm-hmm. yep. I have two sons. Mm-hmm. And I know his son is older. He's over 18. You can't do that with me. Yeah, no. (laughs) That would have ended way earlier. Yeah. It would have ended on the first nigga. Yeah. I'm a what? Wait, well, well, hold on, fam. All right. Would you just, because we don't talk, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I'm still on the form from a form of respect Mm -hmm. era. Mm -hmm. And you don't talk to your parents of that way. Yeah. In that nature. We can have fun and we can play all day. I'm with that. Mm -hmm. But you have to be mindful of who I am. To you. Yeah. And that video would have been way shorter than what that was. Yes, mm-hmm. absolutely. Because even in playing, you, we still have to, because yeah. I'm going to treat you with respect. It ain't yeah. even, because now you're an adult. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm considering you a man now. You know what I'm saying? A young man. And I'm going to treat you with the same level of respect as a man. Mm-hmm. But as once you, you get beside yourself like that, well, now I'm really going to treat you like a man. Oh, yeah. You got to find out the hard way. 
You're going to find Cause out. Because someone else that's not related to you, they're they, going to they they gonna, they gonna show you what's up. And they gonna, it's going to be different because they don't know you. They don't care. They don't have the same love. Yeah. So at that point, it's up and it's stuck. You feel me? Mm-hmm. You know? And you hate to hit your own children with the F around and find out equation. You but do. sometimes- Rather they, me than somebody else. Somebody else. Yeah. Because somebody else ain't going to show no mercy. And it's, it's crazy because we've seen people- I've been around people that grew up in nice areas, nice mm-hmm. households, yep. nice, uh, you know, surroundings. And they, I don't know what's their infatuation with growing up in the quote unquote trenches <laughs> or whatnot. Like if someone obviously saying, oh, you grew up with a silver spoon in your mouth or whatever the case may be, you know, you, yeah, you can take that with a, you know, as a sign of disrespect, but at the same time, it's a blessing. At the same, it is a blessing because you grew up in a situation that a lot of kids don't have the luxury of. Yep. So I never understood this notion of, oh, I'm trying, you know, I'm a hard nigga, I'm a street nigga, I'm boom, 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 when you never grew up like that. You may listen to your favorite artists that talk about that, mm-hmm. but you didn't grow up like that. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, who wants to grow up like that? Like, <clears throat> we, we, we get we glamorize the struggle. Why? I'll be happily in my gated community. Bro, okay? you can that have your said, bandos. Yeah. I am happily black and bougie. He said, "Take me out the gates." Bro. I want to be in the neighborhood. That shit was the stupidest shit I had heard all day. That's, I was like, "What?" I'm no, never. no, no, no. Put me back in the gate. I want to go back bro, in the gate. Like, no. Put bro. me in the gate. And I get it. <laughs> it for him, maybe you know. Always growing up in that, you know what I'm saying? For him, it's, it's nothing special to him. But outside looking in, not having that, and seeing some people I grew up with that had a lot or whatnot, and always just wanting to be from the hood. I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm, I can tell you this now. It ain't it ain't what it's cracked up to be. At all, fam. It's, it's not, bro. It's, <laughs> I'm telling you, you always have to look over your back. You always got to protect what you have. Mm-hmm. You got to be careful who you know who you invite over and, and who sees you with certain stuff. If you got new stuff, you got to be careful with showing that mm-hmm. because it's, it's a different environment than growing up in that nice suburban area, gated community, cops always patrolling. you know patrolling and not looking for trouble but just patrolling to protect or make sure everything's good in the hood it ain't like that bro like mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying it's 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 grimy you get it how you live you may want to be protected you may need to know somebody in mm-hmm. the hood so you don't get you know some funny looks like it's it ain't sweet nigga. like Thanks. i don't i don't i don't I, they glamorizing and rapping no bro but he was in the band though <clears throat> You, like, bro, like if your father is T.I. or someone famous and wealthy, bro, it's like, hey, man, te- teach me, you know what I'm saying, how to make my own money type shit. In I'm streets. I'm, I ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I guess he was listening to his father's raps too much. I guess so, <laughs> bro. Yeah. Literally, bro. to the point, he may have had to grow up like that, but you don't have to. But it's a lot, it's a lot of niggas living off their daddy name. This is true? Yes, 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 yes. It's a lot of niggas that got to portray this image because of what their dad did. Then I don't feel like the your dad do all that work to get where he has gotten for you to go back for you to try to go back to that. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like yeah, that's backwards. that's backwards as hell. You huh? know what I'm saying? And nice. it's like you know we don't know the the inner yeah. dealings of their family. It may be something he has issues with, mm-hmm. but that's cool. But you handle that as a fam. I'm, I'm tired of everything being handled publicly. Handle that in house as a family because when y'all get right. The media and the world still remember when y'all wasn't, yeah. and they forever hold on to that and hold that over your head. So, well, what about this? Yeah, it's like whatever issue you have, man, keep that in house. Because at the end of the day, you do not really want to grow up in the trenches. You really you do not want to grow up in the hood. And I'm tired. Of, I've seen so many people, like you said, come from nice homes and neighborhoods, uh-huh. portray this image of just stay gangster. It's like, bro, since when was being gangster cool? Like, it. it I don't get it, bro. I wish I... uh, I'm glad for where I grew up in because, you know, give me the values I have now. For sure. But if I had the chance to be like Richie Rich on that that, that movie, man, nigga, the fuck? Give me a metal robot made. Nigga, I'm I'm here. You know how many times I... I I, I forgot about that metal robot. (laughs) Bro, (laughs) you know how many times I watched that movie just putting myself in Bro. I just... Bro, I was watching that movie like, man, I wish that was me. Bro, nigga... 
Please, I want a metal robot made to greet me every time I come home, bro. Hello, Master Ross. Would you like any cookies? <laughs> <laughs> bro. Yes, 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 I would. Yes, yes, I would. Could you please turn yes, on the please. PC and make sure my games is ready? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> we have an update coming up later, so uh, I need bro. you to install it for me. Go ahead and what? install it ahead of time. Bro, bro. Uh, y'all tripping. That's why we, you, make, you try to get out the hood so make sure your family, your loved ones don't have to go back. So they can have a better lifestyle for the future generation. But we made the hood look so cool in it's, music. It's in, cool in, when that's all you're used to, but then you realize there's a world outside of the four much more streets. This. It's not cool to stay stuck in yeah. a hood mentality. There we go. You can be, there's nothing wrong with being from it. Nothing wrong with that at but, all. At all. <laughs> but growing from it and actually- Bettering yourself. Actually providing an example. Like, bro, there's more than just that Popeye's down the street. Or the local convenience store that everybody be sitting at for mm-hmm. fucking 20, 30 years doing the same thing. Mm-hmm. There's more than just old <laughs> niggas looking at woulda, coulda, should shoulda been. Yeah. There's more to that than that, y'all. I promise yeah. you. Ralston's liquor store. Yeah, bro. There's more <laughs> than that, bro. All you have to do is just expand yourself and get out of there. It's just, it's always funny how the rich, privileged kids want to go and act like they from there. Like, my nigga. Mm-hmm. Stop it, bro. Your your family had fucking four different vehicles <laughs> outside their crib. You know what I'm saying? It's you had crazy. you had a, a, a lawn it, person. We we were our lawn people. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Or we didn't have grass. Yeah, or that <laughs> we didn't have a maid. The grass look completely. We different. were the maids. We cleaned up our own stuff. Like, what are we talking about, bro? <laughs> like, stop it. Fridays oh, up the house. It's, yeah. wild. it's wild that we. This is a topic. Yeah, it is. I mean, 2023. It's yeah. wild as a topic for a rapper's son. Yeah, bro. Like, yeah. chill, bro. Like, like I, why? whatever y'all got going on, handle it off camera. Y'all figure it out. I'm obviously a public. Bro, he's saying that in a press box. That's what. That's game. the part that that's got me. I was thing. like, you're in a skybox right yeah, now. Bro, Do you like not understand boxes. the irony of this whole conversation? Yeah, Boom, I was in the bed though. We're in a skybox right now. Do you hear yourself? I was in the bed though in the streets in them trenches. In a skybox right now. The most not cheap, bro. No. They're not. You over there eating the finest cuisines while you got watching clothes a football on. game, bro. You got clothes on that your daddy probably provided. Yeah, bro. <laughs> like thousands some, of dollars of people, clothes on, bro. I think some people's brains will be studied many years from now just to see what happened. What's I mean, what's going wrong and where did it go wrong? What started happening? Because nowadays it's just like you can't even make shit like this up. Yeah. No, no, like you, you, you blessed. You know what I'm saying? Okay, if that's the case, give up everything you have and go live in the trenches for real. Then no, you won't go go find a go find. A, I'm a person stand on business. Stand on the yeah, thing. stand on. Go it, find an apartment in the hood mm-hmm. of Atlanta. Go get you a regular car. Mm-hmm. Cut off. Finances mm-hmm. from your family. Try not to accept any funds from them. Go get go get out the go get it out the mud. Then yeah, go it's figure it out. Just like me, your sir. dad had to go figure it out. Yeah, go. show me, sir, and yeah. figure it out. Go go ahead and do it. Yeah, get it out the trenches. Get it out the mud, and and See where let you us go. know. Let us know how it turned out. Let us know. And Real nine times out of ten, <laughs> nine times nine times out of ten, it'll it'll be a, a phone call. Hey, Dad, can we talk? Especially somebody like that. Oh yeah, you in the richest of the richest. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah that's, that's not regular. Just nah, nah. That's they, not middle class. That's <laughs> they're living good, bro. Yeah. They're, they're, they're living. They're and living have been for a long time. Your mom has been. Who she was for a very yeah, long not just time. a long time, his entire life span. Good. Yeah, well, I'm talking about even a parent. Oh, okay. The parents been good. Yeah. So before you even existed, yeah. That's they what I, was kiss. Up. I said his wife, uh, uh, Ti's wife, was singing. He was rapping. They was all. They was both young as hell. So King wasn't even really born before they had this money. Wasn't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is old money, King. Yeah, 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 bro. You sitting on money. Yeah. Hey, man. Hopefully they're able to figure it out, get get things in order, man. Can you know it's just it's not a good look for it to be all on social media. Yeah, no, nah. it's not a good look. Stuff like I that. Would've, I would have ended that way early. Like, oh, okay, you want to <laughs> <laughs> you want to argue and you want to do it in front of people. All right, because yep. you're embarrassing yourself, man. You you making yourself look a certain type of way. Yeah, man. I'm trying to warn you. Yeah, for your image, because I care. Yeah, because if I ain't care, then. 
Because most of these people don't care. People want to see this. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I, I hate sure. to see that. People love this type family. of stuff. I hate to see family turmoil mm-hmm. live. Me too. Like, I want y'all to figure that and out. And it's clearly a, a attention issue. That's, it that's is. what it is. Yeah, it it's, seems it's, like it's it. A, it's an attention issue that needed to be handled behind closed doors, of course. Mm-hmm. But for some reason, he had to express it on his live because he was like, I'm not getting the attention I need, so let me go live. Go live. Cause yeah, I know and that's probably. always a telltale sign of like some some... You got some internal struggles. Yeah, because if that's the first thing you go to when you having some type of argument, like yeah. I already know there's something not clicking with you, and you need some actual help. Because mm-hmm. oh, let me go live and then air my grievances while I'm having an issue with you. I want everyone else to see it. It's like see yeah. how we handle this. Yeah, instead nah. of keeping it personal. I mean, but that's the thing too yeah. with kids. Like yeah. that's why I always say, like being a celebrity with children, you never know what route your children are gonna try to take. This is true. People are always gonna pin. Their actions on you. Mm-hmm. You can you can raise your children up with all the morals in the world, and they still can choose to go and do something yeah. that you don't agree with. And people will always pin that back to you for sure. You know, no matter what. So I know that's a tough thing being a, a celebrity parent because you're like, man, I want my child to be, you know, this this mogul or this mm-hmm. this figure like I've built for mm-hmm. all these years. And it's like sometimes the kids come in and just. Just come in and tear that up mm-hmm. just within a few tweets mm-hmm. or yep, few. a few, oh, yeah, I don't really know him behind closed doors. It's like, well, what the hell does that mean? Mm-hmm. Just because you mad I ain't get you this. Because he in the streets. Maserati. <laughs> yeah, homie in the streets, homie in the trenches. <laughs> yeah, there's it's a lot of thoughts about that that I have, but, you know. It's, yeah. Yeah, hopefully, pray to God, I never have to go into a situation like that, but mm-hmm. it's definitely going to end sooner than what that did. Yeah. Oh yeah, nah, that live's ending quickly. This is going oh, all you're gonna see is just the phone just fall. Man. And then, see, that's it. Mm-hmm. A bunch of little. <laughs> what? You what? 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 You get off! Get off! Get off! That, that, get off. That. I'm your son. <laughs> that's all you hear. Look, I'm your son. You want to be a nigga, huh? Nah, you a nigga today. You hitting that boy with that invincible treatment? Y'all see yeah. invincible? Uh, I haven't seen the new season yet. Oh, the first season. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> you need to see it uh, yeah. because that situation nah. is exactly what mm-hmm. he did to his son. Nah, nah, bro. <laughs> he put that son. Well, it was it was pretty bad. But yeah, nah, don't bro. get to that that degree, of course. Yeah, no, nah, you know, no, nah, that's too <laughs> that, far. He he was a he was a rough dad. Yeah, <laughs> bro, that that was too much tough love. There's tough my, love, and then there's what he did. I, I got my limits. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. He beat the shit out of it. Because sometimes, son. sometimes your old ways will come out. Because you got to think that's frustration too. You feeling too, like mm-hmm. man, like you all your years of struggling to get you in a good position in life. You really just ungrateful for. It's almost like you don't, I don't know why you did all that. Yeah, I don't want that anyway. It's like damn, nigga, I did all this to make sure you was good, and you just gonna throw this in my face, like. And I think every every parent experienced some form or fashion of ungratefulness, though. That's the thing. Oh, for sure. It's just the fact that they're celebrities that makes it rougher. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. they got to deal with other opinions involved. But I don't know if kids out here wanting to be in the trenches, though. Like, Probably, but... I guess some, of, some of them have to be. Well, I know some of them are. Because I, I moved from the north to to the suburbs eventually. And I was watching little Pearland, Pearland thugs. Oh, yeah. And I was mm-hmm. like, no, you don't. You don't want to do that. <laughs> He's like, yeah, man, I'm doing it. Nah, I'm good. I'm mm-hmm. good. I'm going to just, I'm going to stay over here. Stay. I remember coming across a lot of them yeah. back in the day, going yeah. to Walmart. Oh, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Being in certain When spots. I heard somebody call Pearland Dirty P, I was done. I was like, yeah, y'all are retarded. Uh, no. so, excuse my language. So <laughs> dirty, dirty P where? That's, when the that's HOA strange. is up the roof because they got to keep everything clean. There's something very wrong with you. Dirty P, bro. <laughs> First of all, the place is called Pearland. For those who don't know, that that should probably give you an so indication pear. of this ain't the hood. You how, know what I'm saying? How fruitful it is. Yeah, man. no pun intended. All pun intended. <laughs> and it's like, funny because bro. Kess looked this up. She was trying to figure out why it's called Pearland. They used to have pears in the land, and eventually, what was it? Something happened that caused them not to grow. Mm-hmm. Anymore in Pearland, mm. but that's the the reason why they were called that is because they used to grow a bunch of pears, like pear pear trees in, oh. in the land. But eventually, something I can't I remember what that. it was. It was some kind of event that happened that caused the trees not to grow anymore, or something. Humans, us, most likely. 
Yeah. They want to get rid of it so they can build 288 extended. Mo- yeah. so probably some shit like that. Because yeah. so think- 288 didn't even go that far. Mm-mm. No, it did not. It no. was it actually stopped 610 and all that was just mm-hmm. grass and trees. Mm-hmm. And they was like, because old Pearland was the only Pearland. Yeah. And then. Oh, you talking about 518, my bad. Yeah, yeah, none of that. Yeah, just yeah. yeah. Five eighteen on the other side was just yeah, none trees. Of that. Yeah, and then old Pearland was there, mm-hmm. and so they kind of start building right and shot the. Because when we trees. moved to Pearland, it was nothing but trees on the on the two eighty eight side. Because mm-hmm. that was around my junior high side uh, age, and it was nothing but trees on the other side. And I was still kind of going back and forth from Houston at that time, and then by like ninth grade. I want to say that's when they start trying to build stuff different. over there. And mm-hmm. I was like, this is getting interesting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's when, you, that's when um, the zoning was messed up. So, like, when we were at Dawson, we still had, like, people from Worth and Stern, mm-hmm. like, all kinds of people zoned to Dawson. Everybody was trying to go to Dawson for <laughs> yeah. one. Because mm-hmm. Dawson was new. Yeah. But it was also going to be on that edge right there by Houston. Mm-hmm. So, it was like. People were trying to get in. So, like, it was so many different students in there, like, from all over the place. Mm-hmm. It was random as hell. Like, nobody was zoned right at that. My my last year, my, my last year actually in the the, the building, because that was the first year in the building. Mm-hmm. Like, nobody was in the building. That mother looked live, though. Like, when it when it was getting built, nobody was, we were in the night grade center. So, mm-hmm. that was dangerous in itself, because night grade center was not meant for this many students to be piled Facts. up. Mm-hmm. So that's when All it on like top of each other. that's what people like. That's the one thing that was kind of crazy about it, like because it was like it was, it was like you know you're in the suburbs, but at the same time, like when you got that many people in there, mm-hmm. fights was bound to happen. Oh, well, for sure. Mm-hmm. And so like people getting fights in there, and they would like. If you got beat up in the middle of a crowd in there, like security wasn't getting to you in time. Yeah, it took a minute. Like it was Damn. some people getting beat up for a minute. Like I, I watched a dude get beat up a, a good minute and a half, two minutes. You know, a minute and a half yeah, getting long, jumped. And a fight is like yeah, a that's century. A long time, getting bro. jumped for like a minute and a half is tough, bro. Yeah. Like, cause like security, like, like, like move, like tired. move. You got 11th, 10th, and ninth grade all in that one. Ninth grade center. Mm-hmm. And then you got eighth graders on the other side. Well, they actually opened it up. So the eighth graders ended up going to like another, because it was like a junior, like a junior <laughs> high and the ninth grade center combined. Mm-hmm. And so like they had to open up the other side just to give us some space. That shit is wild, bro. It was crazy. And I wonder when they start doing that, where they start um catering to the ninth graders, separating them from mm-hmm. everybody else. Cause when Cause I went to high doing- school, it seemed it's weird. Yeah, because they'll separate them or they'll it's make It's only them certain start, schools that were doing they'll it. They'll start school they, early. They do it a lot now. It's a yeah. lot of schools that have that. I think in my nephew's school, they started school a day before everybody else. Mm-hmm. So that way they can go to their classes and all that and just get... And I was just like, damn, that's crazy because they show them do that. Yeah. That's very generous. Yeah, yeah very generous. I'm we like, we was in they that. threw our ass to the wolves. We was just I was never there. underclassman, so I don't know. Like I, I never expe- like rules. we were in ninth grade and then there was like Dawson's getting built. Oh, okay. And so mm-hmm. I only knew about a new school getting built. And people that went to Pearland went to Pearland. That's when Pearland had all the drugs and stuff going on. <laughs> That's, I don't know if y'all remember that, but they had a bunch of drug busts at Pearland. Like that was I don't know what it was. That's what they want to be they they want to sell drugs. Man, that's what it was. People that could pay for they wanted to sell drugs like crazy. They had drug busts in Pearland like crazy. I was like, what the hell is going on over there? That's that was the one thing that they had going on. Dirty P, man. And then Dirty Dawson P. had the crazy zoning. So we went, once once we got to 12th grade, everybody went to Dawson and it had like all kinds of kids in there. So so some of the Pearland kids would be popping their mouth to somebody that was really from, from South Park or something. And they go talk to them and I just laugh. I'm like. You so stupid! <laughs> and I just see sitting yeah. there watching them get their ass. Beat. Yeah, it's but that's but then you saw it the other the thing, way too like, though, because then you, just, you had that one that one dude that was you know born and raised in Pearland, and you had that one dude that ran his mouth from Cloverland, mm-hmm. and he talk all his trash, he, he and then talk. that dude in Pearland beat him up and be like, hey, it don't matter where you from, young man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I never was a where you from person because I don't think, <laughs> I don't think it matter where you from. It's it just, don't. It don't. It's the acting like I'm in a hood environment. Being raised, yeah, bro. I'm like, bro, that, that's weird. Your mentality is different when you have to actually grow up like that. Yeah. That used to be weird to me because yeah, when I weird. went over, when I moved over, because I got to see both sides, so mm-hmm. it was like moving over, you could see, like, you could tell who wasn't yeah. and who was. 
Cause you do too much. You've been there, so like you can see the differences. Mm. But like it'll be one dude who used to claim he was a blood. Like my whole high school year, I was like, "It's a good segue." This mm. guy, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this guy is not a. You're not a blood. Bro. His real like, name Clarence. He be like, "Yeah, I'm a blood off a of, uh such and such Pearland blood," and I was like, "Pearland bloods." Pearland bloods. Cringe. Bro. What is going on? In That's here? wild. And that was weird to me. That was weird. I've and never heard nobody say that. After that, I just remember him getting beat up. I think my 10th or 11th grade by somebody that moved to the school. Mm-hmm. He got beat up because he used to talk a lot of shit. So it was probably just some random dude beat him up. I don't even know if he was affiliated with nothing. He just ended up getting beat up. And after that, I had never <laughs> seen him claim blood again. I bet. Because <laughs> his blood brothers didn't help him. <laughs> they said, nah, he really about that, y'all. Yeah, no, nah, thanks. That's... <laughs> Oh man, it's like, weird, ain't it? Yeah. P. <laughs> you dance on the floor. If you ain't, let me know. <laughs> if you see. That's funny. He bloody, really threw that bloody. up. <laughs> Chris Brown. Yeah. Chris Breezy, my boy. Yeah, man. What did he say? He not Bris Jewish. Breezy. Oh, um, <laughs> I actually can pull it up because I saw that actually uh, earlier before we. Uh, For what happened? Ball. I don't. I don't even know why they oh, brought him into right. something. I have no idea I what think happened. It was I just someone seen that had, line. Someone had <laughs> commented on something of his. Pulling him into something. Yeah, yeah, Chris yeah. Be, Chris be minding his business. He really do. I will say that. I give him that. He be minding his business. He just be performing and moving. And people always tend to drag his name into something. Because or, ever since this situation, they want to bring that up over and over yeah, again. Yeah. And try to drag him down every time. That's he funny. really be chilling. I hate when you hold a man to his mistake. Yeah. Just oh, because we don't know do your mistake publicly, don't mean we all okay. don't have dark. All you know right, so I guess this was somebody had comment. I'm not sure what the post was, but he said uh, the person. I don't. I don't think they were a fan. Or maybe they were. How was it for you to sing uh, an anti-Semitic song in Dubai with Kenya? And he responded to the individual, "Man, in all caps." So you know he was serious. Oh, he was. Man, serious. if y'all don't suck my dick and find another pawn to play with, I'm a blood. I ain't Muslim or Jewish. So after that was said, then he made a, a post. In no way, a shape or form am I anti-Semitic. I'm pro-life and I make music for the entire world. So please do not get tricked into thinking I spread hate or am cool with it. His first song on his album is talking about healing. Literally, <laughs> we need healing. That's what the song is about. Yeah. No the power. very first song. He don't got no Pyru um, tracks. <laughs> of course, he's had Pyru tracks since. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm talking about on this album. Not, he probably um, has like one, I think, maybe uh, Make Up Your Mind. Maybe he may bring it up. Maybe. But he's always done that. Like, this is not new. Do you do you drop that? Someone said, I'm a blood. I'm not Muslim. Is the wildest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, you? like that. Is, somebody that's, said, it's, that is very Somebody wild. worded it differently. They said, I'm a Pyru or something like that. That's what, that's that's what, what I, I seen. thought. That's what I seen. You yeah, see, it, it, it said, said, I'm, I'm a Pyru. I'm, I'm not just Jewish or Wooty Woo, whatever. Nah, well, on this post, it shows that he said, I'm a blood. In his story? No, on the on actual post. Yeah, he, no. Uh, he, he, he actually was, did it on the story. There was oh. one that said, I'm Pyru. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm not any of those other things. And I was like, huh? And then somebody broke down. It was like, well, Pyru means the devil. And this, and then somebody was like, no, actually, Pyru's a street in uh, Compton, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh, my God. Here we go. The point, <laughs> I get what he's saying when it comes to the music. People are going to complain and, and push the... Move the goalposts yeah. as much as they want, so there's nothing you can do about that. It's just bringing up your gang affiliations to prove your point it is, is kind of wild because it, it is. It's just like kind of yucky. It's point. like, hey, I get you have a right to defend yourself, or at least it, it that wasn't the yourself. best way to defend. It just wasn't the best way. I could you could have said, hey, music wasn't intent. For that, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't, you know, stop trying to reach. That has nothing to do with yeah. each other. Just saying, I'm, I'm <laughs> Pyru, I'm blood. I ain't Muslim. <laughs> what, I got to remind y'all. What does that have to do with anything, You could have said, I'm black. <laughs> you could have did that. We would, all right, cool, Chris. I would have took it. But, uh, it's hard for I'm me to, Christian. 
I'm some, Baptist. Whatever, bro. This I'm me. Say, I'm, say, I'm, I'm, I'm a singer. I'm an entertainer. I don't. Yeah, I'm an I entertainer. I don't get into all of. I'm the I'm not politics. in between. What yeah, but this nigga said I'm pirate. I'm, that I'm was so random, bro. bro. I'm not a Muslim. I'm not none of that. Like we we bracking over here, blood. Like what are we doing? Briss breezy. Briss. <sighs> Briss. That shit is wild. That's the only thing that just gives that Chris. Is- that shit is wild, I just, bro. It's it just to drop that shit. Sometimes a, it just, it just, it just. He's a dancer. Even, singing even, blood. even Drake know he can't. There's do a lot that of shit. dancers singing blood. Drake yeah. know he can't do that. That's why he talk about his affiliations with the people. Yeah, he sends the boys to do it. <laughs> At least I the mean, boys. he always sends the, the boys. I'm, I'm, I'm over that. But mess. even still, even if you come at it in that light, all right. But the whole I'm Paru, it's like, why? That'd be my only question. Like, what's bro. the point? I'm trying right to now. figure out what set put him in. Like, hey, bro, we, we gotta have Chris Brown in the set. I, he, he got see, danced. That's the in. thing, though. Before, <laughs> like, when he was young, you he me? had he had those interviews about how he was he was with the wrong crowd. Yeah, already. no, I know so that. he could have been jumped in a long time, possibly not dance. <laughs> but it's just crazy because of what what he's singing about. You know what I'm saying? Him dancing. Yeah. And, but, but, I, I, but he's always had the mixtape, Chris, and he's always yes. rapped and talked about these yeah, things. Yeah, and no, so that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that it's not true. It's just, it's wild. Okay, to let's say let's say he's been a blood since he came in. Cool. When do you drop the I'm Pyro at? <laughs> well, I'm shit. just, no, I'm like, serious. Like, well, seriously, I don't, like, I don't think you, he can. When do you drop? Do you think that's the problem? I, it probably, because I'm sure he cool. I'm sure a lot of the niggas that got he cool with. Hole? They, you know what I'm saying? Like, he he makes sure they good. Yeah. Financially, of course. For sure. So, anywhere he go, he, he can have security on the books and he can have security off the books. He good. So, it's kind of like- Most remember, of the singers really be the most gangster people in the, in the industry. But that's not the- It's like when I it's get to really a point- it's, it's, Do y'all remember Trey Songz? Yeah. When he literally blocked somebody's- Who was that? He blocked somebody's bus with- all his people. Yeah. Nah, them niggas. <laughs> These yeah, singers be can, out here doing do that stuff. I could do that too with a million in my pocket. <laughs> you can. But he was doing that when he was first starting. But look, my thing is this. I'm right. just saying. I get it. I, we're judging the singing. That's crazy. <laughs> but my thing is, no, take the singing out of it. Because oh, okay. I, I felt the same thing like with Snoop. You know what I'm saying? Like it's the same like, thing. When why you, are we still doing it? Yeah, like when you start yeah. to go on and... Being a face to these kids and you mm-hmm. going to these hospitals and you yeah. you doing these giveaways and all that, like at some point you're 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 contradicting yourself more and more and more and more and more as you're furthering yourself in the game. You can't talk about trying to keep people together and connecting on certain Turn parts. Up the music. See, see <laughs> the issue with that is the initial reason for a lot of the gangs was not what it is now. But it's not, and now, see, if we was see that, educating on if, that part- If that's what they were doing, then- It would be different. It'd that's be what different. makes this weird for me, because I don't know- But it ain't been like that since the beginning. It hasn't. Yeah, nah. But I don't know the angle that, you know, maybe like maybe Snoop Dogg believes in the beginning uh, origins which, of, which could of be being true. a crip. Which, which could you be know? true. Because so, I mean, it wasn't about violence, technically. It wasn't. It wasn't supposed so, to be. It but then, but then again, speak on that then. True. Because you have an influence. You have a voice. So mm-hmm. you got to be the one to speak I agree. on. I think it was random as hell that he said, I'm a... <laughs> to uh, begin I with. I think that was that just was the most... It's like so it many was, other things you could have said. You could have said all I'm kinds an entertainer. Of I'm a singer. I'm a dancer. I'm, a, I'm black. I ain't Muslim or Jewish. Nigga <laughs> said, I'm a blood. <laughs> the fuck, nigga? I'm Pyru, cuz. I'm Pyru, man. I mean, what are you I'm Pyru, cuz. Ain't you got on red? You, you repping it? Wait. Which is kind of wild if he just said, I'm Pyru, cuz. But Steve repping it, bro. You know what it's all about. So, uh, so I'm a Chris Brown fan. And oh, we know you. The fact that he said you gotta flip that, the mic around. it was random as hell. It made me like, are you serious, dude? Like, it was no point in saying it. That's why I just said, I don't know what happened to him. It's like he... He been like that though, Nisha. He Pyru. He well, been. No, he, I'm just saying, like, just certain things that he does, like, period. I feel like he's he's just slowly falling off. Like, That's what I said. And That's I don't know said. why. He bracking, bro. On game. He put me in business. On phone now. He has to get better. He has to get better. And he's from Virginia, right? Yeah, he's from Virginia. Hey, Virginia. Learn her. I've heard a lot of wild Trey stories songs. out of Virginia. Like, that. Um, to be honest, a, if you not. Area. I've always had this mentality. 
and people probably shoot me for whatever uh, online, but if you're not from a certain area of origination, I really don't even. I completely uh, understand. I get what you're saying. Because it's like. He's from Virginia, but he claims. Not even that. Even down here, bro. Because remember, yeah. before we got yeah. heavily into gangs, it was, it was neighborhoods and cliques. It's like, cliques. oh, we from this hood. Because Houston is, bro, I've been to Cali, and I see how you can get a drive by every other day. Y'all two meters from each other. Yeah. The Everything other, out the, here is the, far. The opposite is literally two blocks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can go to the end of the street and see the other color. Yes. Like it's literally like it is on San Andres. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like here you literally drive. Here you gotta drive to the different hoods. You purposely so driving over there. Mm-hmm. It was it was always like, oh, this is my hood, that's my hood. Well, and Cloverland and South Park are right next to each other. They are. But yeah. I mean that's the close, but then you got dead end, you got yeah. uh, you know, you got your um Sunnyside Cloverland, Dead End. Um what's the other one right? Earl you gotta get the point. Mm-hmm. Harm just clock just, this driving, across the way. Just but start then, driving. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just start driving. I can't think of all of them. But anywho, y'all get the point of what I'm saying. Like, it's it's really been on hoods and stuff, but it's like, then all of a sudden, they start claiming gangs and stuff. And I'm just like, like somebody oh, came down and started uh, setting up, putting basically setting putting, up shops. And then it caused other people to create sets within their mm-hmm. neighborhood. And it became different sets inside there. So people trying to be like Chicago and shit. And, <clears throat> All these other places that want to put gangs inside of inside of mm-hmm. streets, and then have mm-hmm. these other streets be in a gang mm-hmm. that are against this other. Like, it's a bunch. Of and I'm not shit. saying you can't be from somewhere like L.A. and all in. I was gonna move. say, where did it originate? Was it? No, it was so in it was, L.A. It started off in L.A., but it's like a battle. People always talk about, nah, it started in Chicago. And what I'm started like, in Chicago? Certain, it just depends. Chicago on. had a completely different. It depends yeah. on the gangs, though. That, like, yeah, I think like. Gang, so, like the Crips and Bloods was in, in LA. High school, I think the Cypress was in Chicago. I said that too. I Chicago. said Crips and Bloods originated in California. Yes. Because I'm from there. So yes. I know where it originated. Okay, we get it. But it's Cause. like people, somebody really argued me <laughs> down saying that. That's why. What? What? You got a problem with Chris. Because he, he bracken. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I thought you saw that. You, I, th- I, I thought I, you caught that yeah, too. Sure, yeah. No, I'm just not realizing. Yeah. Why are you so shocked? Like, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not no gang relations at all. I'm not. That's why. Yeah. Man. My family is affiliated with Crips. You, that is true. How do you? But how do you do that? Let me talk to you. I am turn not it in off. a gang. Turn, turn it off. Turn off. It's all that shit you listening to. All that red shit in here. Red shit. <laughs> Bro, I remember that. I, I always tell the story. Bro, I remember coming to her house. <laughs> One day, with, I had a live little red fit on. Oh, and then her mom was like, oh, that's nice, but what's all that red? I'm like, the fuck? Yeah. Let it dawn on me. That's why I don't wear these colors when I go to Cali. Because yeah, my, cause my uncle stayed in Inglewood, so I would wear like white, black. White. Oh, that's why I took them. Well, I took them off of 43rd, but uh, I should have took y'all to Inglewood. I was in white and gray. Yeah, you so were, I was in like white, was, black, white. Black, black, I white. Think Ro- I think Ross had on bright red. He was like, yeah. I, I, uh-huh. yeah, I stayed was. in the car. That was, <laughs> a, he was in a straight crip neighborhood, too. Yeah, I, oh, come I, on, didn't, bro. We, I didn't know this was on the itinerary. So, <laughs> he said, I thought I mean, we were this staying was, in Hollywood. This was actually <laughs> all foreign to me. He said, hey, let's go meet the family. I was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Nick, all right. Nick Should I take to, off my shirt? Nick got to the back of the van. <laughs> I'm, I'm chilling. Y'all let me know when they get out. I'm gonna stay I keep right telling here. him it didn't matter what he had on. Like yeah. my my auntie yeah, we was know. OG. Oh, That's we cool. Know. It didn't matter what he had on. That's he cool. Where well, your grandma stay? Where well, your mama stay? You know what? Get out the car. Get out the car. Get out the, get out, get out the van before we jack you out that mother. <laughs> so wait, Warren always said story. Get out the car. Because it was his first time meeting my family in LA. So when I brought him in the house, he was like, man, you seen two big ass pit bulls. He said it was just like Grand Theft Auto. He said everything mm, was There's just a bunch of random shit going on. But, you know, I get it. <laughs> the vibes out there are some Grand Theft Auto vibes. Because, yeah. I mean, they copy the city. So, yeah. like, you feel the, the same energy. That's how you know Grand Theft Auto did a good ass job. But they did. Very definitely. They did. When I played that game, I said, damn, this is my movie nah. at home. Yeah. But I love how y'all dialogue is. And, you know, yes. everything was cracking though. <laughs> Ain't nothing cracking tonight. What y'all trying to get into? Yeah, my know. cousin was like, I mean, I know this cracking ass club we can go to. Oh, no. <laughs> I said, I don't know if I want to go to that. No, it makes me want to travel more. <laughs> See, I got certain family members. I'll be like, I'm not going to the club with you. <laughs> no, 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 no. Straight <laughs> out of the Nah. That's like my Louisiana family. My like, certain Dallas family, certain Louisiana family. I'm not going to the yeah, club. Yeah, my cousin. Louisiana. I don't I don't know who's worse. I love uh, y'all. Out of but her, I'm not going to the club. Her family or my family when it comes to I think to yours topped it. 
I don't know. I think we just haven't seen you. I don't know. <laughs> shoot yeah. out, shoot out. I'm just saying hi. We always bring that up, but yeah, it was it shoot was out. A, yes, for Whole saying hi. Shootout. It wasn't for saying hi. No, they was having a situation down I the block. I met his family for the first time. The we, first we, time for, a shootout. I kid you not. <laughs> the first time I was five months pregnant with Josiah. I'm there. We chilling. Outside, they barbecuing and you know whipping it up. We all socializing. One and of the neighbors had a situation one, going down down the street, and, and all you hear was ba ba ba. We all hiding, ducking in the middle of the freaking street. Yeah. So who do you think is worse? We just ain't seen yours in action. Like I got to say, <laughs> we ain't seen yours in action. I can't really decide. I told him I would never. <laughs> go back to visit. So this this the crazy That's part. So the kids is a, a ways playing, like cousins getting to meet. And, and they're playing. in the streets. And they're and I'm so I have to go and run to make to sure my children kids. are good. They not knowing what's going on. I'm just telling them to hurry up and get in the car. I Imagine secure, you meet a girl Ross for the first time when you go to her family, you experience that. <laughs> dog, I'm securing everybody in the car. Oh, I'm the Lord. last one. I'm the last one to get in the car. All the shooting is he just his mama, going he on. Me. He had to grab I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to make sure everybody got in the car. Like I'm like, I'll be the last one in. Whatever happens, at least y'all are in protection. Yes. So get everybody in the car and we leave. I want to say like we end up hitting up all the cousins. Everybody straight. Everybody laughing because everybody. You know, they're it's used, that. They're used it's to that the shit. I survived, so we. Everybody, so they was tripping over here. Whoop, they whoop. wanted us to come back out that night. But party I, with them at the yeah, same so house. a few hours later, they're like, so y'all finna, uh, y'all finna I come said, through. I'm not going back over there. They was like, bro, so y'all finna come through, right? Because we finna do the. And I said, like it was nothing. I said, bro, I'm gonna be honest with you. Hell no. Not with, I'm not in this type of life no more. Like <laughs> he said, nah. Maybe y'all got my it. second time inviting. It wasn't Kess, but I invited Keem. So we, were, my grandma loves watching me dance and perform or like minister for her church. Oh, that's pretty so cool. So like I, I dance yeah, whenever great. she asked me to dance or whatever. So I'm like, all right, cool. We'll find some song and then we'll we'll freestyle to it, or whatever. Mm-hmm. And um, the I think the second time Keem came to perform with me, uh, we go to my grandma's church and um, we're I think we we performed already. The kids are out playing at the little bouncer or whatever. And then across the street is like this terrible, net, terrible little apartment complex or whatever. But um Kay, Kay was like, Yeah, man, this is a this is a this is an area, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, Yeah, yeah, definitely north side. Yeah, no, um, for sure. And um I think like a few seconds later, he uh some kids uh like I don't I don't know if the kids did it or not. I'm pretty sure the kids did, but I heard like bah, bah, inside the house. Like inside the one of the apartments, like right next to the gate, and then like four kids come running out of the uh, apartment. One like little girl screaming, and the kid was like, "What the hell is going on over here?" That's and then wild. my grandma's just sitting there, and then uh, I'm I'm going to check on my grandma just to make sure she was like she was good. And yeah. then she's sitting there. I was like, "Okay, cool." And then I <laughs> I go and look over, and uh, I think most of the kids were already like gone. And I go look look around, and King was like, "Yeah, it's time to get up out of here." I was like, "Yeah, no. I'm just yeah. making sure my grandma good. I'm just telling my grandma to go inside." He was like, "Oh yeah, y'all know our side niggas different. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. Y'all just yeah. kind of sit." That's too much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it was, and, um, like I think little, like I want to say that was like a few months after Kess had first seen my family um, during New Year's, because mm. she was like, oh, "That's the wrong time." Yeah. <laughs> Exactly, because I have that family. Because yeah. I have the family, so yeah. <laughs> we go over to my aunt's Come house on, on New Year's. Guns. Exactly. So, and my cousin, she's dating this dude who loves guns or whatever. And then my uncle, they all them, all their friends, they love guns and stuff too. So she gets, she comes into the house and she hears, and she was like, sound like Michael Jackson song. What? What is what is going on? What is going on? Are they shooting in the backyard? I was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure. And she she was like, what the hell? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I was like, like, and we walked back, and she we opened it. I opened the back door so she could look, and she was like, and they're all just in the back, like (laughs) it's like six of them, (laughs) six Uh random people, just like it wasn't even all family. It was just random people in the backyard (laughs) shooting, and she was like, y'all that family. I was like. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. sadly. <laughs> yeah. Sadly, I'm used to it. She was like, I ain't never. We driving back, and all you hear is gunshots. <laughs> like coming back, we driving back to the south side to come back to the house. All she hears is gunshots all the way down. She's like, this is crazy. She's like, I know it shoots. She's like, she, her family in South Park. So she's like, I hear the shots, but I ain't never. Like our house isn't like, usually close to it. In our backyard. <laughs> yeah. Where it's going yeah. On. <laughs> Yeah, no, reasons why the kids ain't met all the family. Yeah, and it's like from me. Understandable. I was in a, when I was young, because it's like being in that situation as an adult, like, I was like, damn, I haven't been in this situation a long time. Mm. Like, when I was a kid, I've, you know, I've seen it all. So, Mm -hmm. like, I've been in situations where there's a whole shootout in my brother's football game, during the football game, like an actual shootout. And it's like, I'd have been there. So, it's like, for me, I was like, this shit remind me of. (laughs) <laughs> Shit, I was trying to get away from. Mm-hmm. I yeah. said, "Wow!" And the crazy because I think we've only been maybe one time since. That was in Louisiana. <laughs> Where? In uh, New, New, New Iberia. Iberia. Oh. So I know that name. I ain't going. Somebody country, say country. you want to go there? Nope. <laughs> country. <laughs> Yeah, Nisha shit. I ain't doing that. She said, do I, I ain't, nope. I ain't travel across country nope. to go do the same thing. Bro. Yeah, well, my uncle out there, he kind of, it, it's just, yeah, <laughs> I can't even say everything. But, you know, it's, it's just. It's understandable. Interesting family. family a lot of stories move, I cannot talk about. Family mm-hmm. move a certain like, type of way. Wow. That's, that's why I always tell people, be careful who you mm-hmm. mess with because you don't know who they are related to. Yeah. Yes. I'll just say that. <laughs> Absolutely. This <laughs> nigga talking that that mob talk. No, I'm just, no you no, really I'm, have to talk I'm like literally that. Literally saying like, no, for real, you know, because you really need to be careful. Because I did not expect that from his side of the family. Because I met, I met a lot of his mom's side. You met the nice, the, the, so the cordial side. <laughs> so I met his mom's side. So wait. I was like, okay, his mom's side is more. I thought my side was crazy, just out yeah, of there. And then when I met his side and his family, I was like, okay, they're calm. Oh, I met his dad's thought. side. I said, well, they they like my family. They a little more so crazy. So basically, they y'all good. Don't fuck with our family. <laughs> That's I really said, it. Yeah, this is this don't is don't crazy. fuck with us. Yeah, don't do it. Reconsider. We got one of them yeah, families. Yeah, yeah. That's why personally, I just don't involve yeah. certain situations I'm going through. You can't because family will turn it. They'll turn. They'll turn that. up. Yes. So that's why I don't even involve you. No reason to even call. No, yeah. no, 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 you can no, no, no. stay where you are. Nah, bro, we already are. We already I mean, here. It is perfectly fine. You go home. Go I already home. know now. Actually, I know now. So. I know where he's staying. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even say a name. It don't matter. I know I, who you're talking about. I saw you arguing with him. Yeah, I saw I saw it on Instagram. I use facial recognition. He left, he left a, a mean comment. I ain't like that. <laughs> that is yeah, how family that, be. That's yeah. actually, yeah. <laughs> hey, watch who you talking to, young blood. <laughs> Yeah. And it'd be the crazy. So wait, that's not the. So one time I went to his family function on his dad's side too. It was, mm-hmm. it was like Christmas, right? Mm-hmm. And it was one of the one of the brothers or his cousin, which which was one of his sisters. Well, mm-hmm. anyway, the family. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One of the girlfriends came, Uh-oh. and the f- whole family jumped on her in the front yard. Oh. Oh. The well, no, that's I was not like, the story. what in the hell is what? this? What's the story, it, was, it was a situation where uh-huh. I don't always think a I don't think it was always a situation. I don't think the family a liked See, it was a situation. situation. <laughs> the family didn't necessarily like the girl. Uh-huh. And to me she was kind of bold because she got a, she caught her attitude because another young lady that was invited to the event. Mm-hmm. She felt like my cousin looked at her or acted different when she got there oh. because of how she looked. So that's an insecurity thing to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So Close to time to go to school. She she got she got a I think she felt some type of way because of, you know, Thomas, oh, you start changing when she got here. One, one thing about a woman, she can't so, let another woman see her sweat. Like, yeah, that's like what is up? It like was these wild. women nowadays, like, ain't no woman gonna see me sweat. But she she said a little too much, and then they got to arguing. They, you know, he tried to remove her outside. I think he he knew he know how my family is, so he was trying to like get her chill. But she really would start tripping, like she wanted an ass with me. So oh, she no. just started popping off, and then you in somebody's yeah. house and neighborhood yeah. talking and crazy trying to, by yourself. They trying to calm you down because they're like, hey, you know, this is my. Yeah, you know, right. we in the coldest I get chill. Relax. I would have been like, girl, do you not know where you at? Yeah, but then she started tripping off, and then once 
once people caught wind of that, it was like a fire. Yeah, we all what you say? Day. We all sitting up there all playing dominoes. Yep. And then next thing you know, they get one quiet. come, the other come, and they all yeah, outside. Just... And I'm warm when I I said, you know, I'm going to stay in the house. Cause yeah, I, was just I know to how get... y'all get down. So. I was just <laughs> stay away keep, from this. I was trying to keep the kids in the room. Yeah. Because, you know, that's why I'll be like, that's why I'm like bringing my children. <laughs> Nigga, don't embrace it, bro. Nah, <laughs> no, some I, things you just gotta avoid. I grew up in that, I so I, did, I don't want my children to down, boy. Some things you just Take gotta be down, out man. the way. That's that's how my, my dad had to deal with that. He's the mm-hmm. second oldest of 11 kids, brothers and sisters, so he was in that life for a and long his time. His whole side of his family, they get down, <laughs> they gonna fight. So, oh. hey, maybe Chris Brown has some, some leverage here, man. You know what I'm saying? It makes sense. We Probably all know it, it doesn't make sense to say I'm blood. <laughs> not, for Chris Brown. not blah, 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 blah. Hey, you can be up. blood all you want, but don't say it in the middle of that post. <laughs> That's the issue here. That's it. That's yeah. the whole issue. He had to let the world know he get down like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're not trying to let the world know that. You know, shit get, can get down like that. Yeah, you're no, trying, no, you're no. trying to hide that. And I appreciate that. You're a changed man. I'm, I'm for you know, peace, peace of course. Absolutely. But Yeah, when you get a certain age, you be like, I ain't got I time, for, time that. for none of that. Yeah. To but don't my get energy. it twisted. It ain't sweet over here. Oh, yes. Yeah, Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> There's no other option. But that's why he always tells people, from people sweet. like, I'm good, but I can get there. Like, yes. I, it's in my blood. Yes. He was born in it, molded <laughs> Like, y'all know me. Like, I'm good, I'm chill, but when I can get there, too. We know. So, oh, yeah. we, we know. You too. So we know, cuz. We definitely know, cuz. We know, cuz. We know, cuz. <laughs> well, now, now that I know this story, y'all really, y'all really on equal footing. Y'all were a match yeah. made in heaven. You know what I'm saying? Talking about who's worse. <laughs> y'all are perfect. Yeah, y'all, y'all are perfect are you talking for about? each other. There's one no side worse. Of the family this is called is perfection. One side of the family with the shit, the other side of the family with the shit. They all gonna come together and make sure that y'all good. Y'all good. Yeah, we've definitely got some sides. Okay, a family good. that gangs to de- together stays together. No, you know what I'm saying? Is that <laughs> yeah. how that works, huh? Yeah, oh, a family that gangs to together stays so together. I think that's the name of the pod. That's the name of the pod. That's the name of the pod. A family that gangs <laughs> together said, stays together. What do you together. Do with a girl that got a real hood family? I mean, my my wife has one. <laughs> I mean, but she know I'm used to. It. Sometimes you don't have no choice because when you meet a person and you get feelings for them. It's you sometimes just suggest, the feelings are just, stronger to I mean, let go. I'm, I'm used to, you know, gang-like individuals and families. You know what I'm saying? I'm surrounded by y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, no, you're not talking about your family. This man <laughs> here. Shut your ass. Your ass. It's, it's, like, it's the same dude <laughs> who, who got into a situation some years ago. I was about to say, ago. he got enough oh, gang. I can make one call. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> listen, Mr. listen. One call different. away. That's one different. call. I'm only one. That's different, though. Call This man, that's different. No. You're that was affiliated. desperate times call for desperate measures. Like, hey, hey, like we got to do what we got to do. Call. What we got to do? What we doing? <laughs> Let me know what we doing. Just like y'all got people that rob for y'all, I got people that rob for me. Oh, we know, buddy. You got to one call away, too. <laughs> he only one call away. Leah, text. <laughs> you can call on me. Hey, man, it happens, man. You, you know? in trouble. <laughs> hey, bro. Only one call we, away. We gang gang over here, man. <laughs> No, hey man, I try to spread love. You, you know, can in, spread in, love. in closing, I want to just hey, some people deserve an ass whooping. Yeah, oh, hey. but yeah. spread love. Yeah, first we gang oh, it always, <laughs> always fear how far we'll go. Exactly, I think which is why that is always it. last resort. That yeah, is the last resort. I think now, as old as I am, and as much stuff as I've been through, the only person, or only people that can get me. To a point to where I'm ready to like round and go crazy is if over my kids. Yeah, like, that's real. Like, that's how it if should be. <laughs> say or sniff on my kids the wrong way, I'm gonna lose my. Bro, shit. but real quick, real story before we go, we at um Isaiah's birthday party. I knew you was gonna oh, go. There. I was Lord. waiting for it because this is the most recent situation. Yeah, yeah. We had Isaiah's let, let birthday the world party. Know. And uh, so Rob, the kids, the kids are in there about to play laser tag. She's living proof, y'all. She ain't capping <laughs> the, in the her kids raps. are in there about to play laser tag, mm-hmm. and the parents we got to kind of wait outside because mm-hmm. they actually have a. They actually have a party person that's taking all the kids to their different uh, activities. So every activity that they had, they have an actually designated person to take them to everything. Mm-hmm. So we just kind of seeing, overseeing everything and just, you know, uh, assisting. So they went into the laser tag portion. And of course, they had to go in there by themselves. They was getting them all set up. Apparently, Josiah was in there playing with another little kid that was in there. And uh, like they was like play fighting and just messing around. All I remember is Mariah came out saying, hey, this lady just yelled at Josiah, like with an attitude. And I was just like, like I, I don't know what I had in my hand or what we had, 
I think I had in the van. Mm hmm. And I was rocking her in a little struggle. And I was like, oh, hold on. Your mom was right there. I was like, Nisha left. I didn't even yeah. see Nisha anymore. She was Man, already there. Yeah. I think they had told you to go. I <laughs> think you had went. went. She went and then me. she came and she told me. was on me. the other side of me. I didn't know if he heard it or not. I said, I don't care if he heard it. I'm going to go. Because I was with Nevaeh. And then so once I found out, you was already gone. And I was like, oh, I said, hey, you mind? Uh, <laughs> like her mama. And I just went in there. Fam, Nisha was. If she wasn't him and the lady up. She was. Uh, so so what happened? Who who was you? And the lady was just sitting there in the corner like this. Yep, it's I'm going going back back to Cali Cali because I, I felt I felt myself I'm going, going. losing sense because I was like, wait, yell my child. Okay, them two things that just I'm like, let me figure out what's going on. Nisha's in there. This lady is literally in the corner, hands folded, like quiet. And Nisha, I'm just seeing Nisha hands, and I'm just like, so wait, I come in like wait. What happened? No, and I, then, I said, so you, I said, so you as a grown ass adult going to yell at a child? Yeah. I said, if you got an issue with a child, that's a problem. I said, you can come to their parent. I said, I'm her, I'm his parent. I said, so what's your problem? And then once she, I she said, didn't have <laughs> shit to say then. And once I found out she was really, cause she didn't say I didn't yell or anything. I was like, I was like, don't yell at my damn kid. Like yeah. I was, I felt myself, but her dude was right there uh, on the side of me. And then I looked over at him and he was just like. <laughs> He put his hands up. Well, I, I want think, no beef, sir. I think sir. he knew she was tripping. It's like, you don't whole ass. And all the kids in there. When I went in there, I went and I said, what happened, Mariah? Because yeah. I asked them first. I said, what happened? And then Javon, too, which is our older nephew, he was mm -hmm. like, he said, yeah, uh, she was kind of like, And then Isaiah was like, why are you yelling at Like, the yes. kids was ready Isaiah to. Isaiah was like, what are you yelling at him for? Yeah, like, the kids was ready. So Mariah just came to get us to, do, you know. Well, Isaiah was like, no, nah, man. Yeah, yeah, Isaiah together. was just like, no, nah, what you yelling for? Together. He caught, got he damn mouth, mad. sir. <laughs> I, that I asked her, I said, so you yelled at my child? And He's she so was stupid. like, she said, yeah, I yelled at him because he, he kept hitting my son. I said, well, first of all, were they playing? They're kids. Yeah, because they was playing. She was like, yeah, but he still hit him. I said, ma'am, you sound so crazy right now. I said, you're yelling at a child for another child playing with a child. Once I, I, said, once, I exactly what you said. Right once I figured out the dude wasn't in no, and she, I said, let me go get her mama mm -hmm. because Nisha at that point was starting to lose the- Yeah, because I got in her face. I started pointing in her face and yeah. I said, you don't yep. yell at my child. I said, you got a problem, you come to me. Yep, it was about to get- I said, I'm a, I said, I'm a grown Nisha was ready to woman. fight this lady. Oh, she was about to kick. No, but I but don't the lady, like that. You don't the lady mean, was I would never tuck. yell at nobody else's child. I'm gonna say, hey, especially when kids say, hey, are playing. Calm well, down, buddy. Calm down. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a nicer way to tell a child. It's definitely nicer way to tell a child. Or come get your child. get your child. I'm gonna be like, hey, hey, Nisha, come. It, I don't get it wrong. Some kids are bad as shit. So yeah. Some kids deserve. But to be I would, bad. I would remove my kid. I'll be like, hey, come it, here. It, if I know exactly. I'm in there, I'm be like, hey, come here, decide. And I would just have them stay by me. That's what I would do. Yeah. Especially if I don't know where the parent is. Nah, she almost lost. She almost lost it. She almost lost it. Like, lady, you almost lost yourself today. That's that's the one last gang, You almost got some hands gang, 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 to the gang, face, like, ma'am. Yeah. Gang, gang. Like, yeah, story time. We don't gang bang. We don't, we don't not gang, gang bang. Not gang like Ross do, actually. Yeah, yeah he's a real gang bang. He got more stories, but next time. But, I don't hey, have no He's got war yeah. stories. I don't. Hopefully, y'all have a get that far. Pod. <laughs> it don't get, see how it doesn't get that far? You want to know why they disappear? He tired. He got ties. Whoa. Mom. All right, chill out. Hey, yo, chill out with that. Hey, I know. I know. We got to chill. I know. We got to stop. Hey, hey, hey Steve. Hey. I ain't got no we don't gangbang at all. <laughs> they going to shut down this pie. I'm simply wearing yeah, a Texans bro. hat. They ain't going to shut down nothing. Ross on here. <laughs> exactly. We're give, good. Oh, no. Nah, we can green light that one. He, he can one call away. <laughs> Mr. One call. 133. Y'all stupid. One call away. Right, but we appreciate y'all, man. Uh, <laughs> We don't gang bang. <laughs> we ain't even get to the CM Punk shit. But anywho, hopefully y'all catch us later, man. We love y'all. Continue to subscribe, man, and share the pod everywhere and listen everywhere. We'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace. Already. This is the Consciousness Podcast.